We're continuing to track showers and storms moving into central Missouri thanks to a warm front pretty much stalling over here in central Missouri. Now we are tracking some showers and storms, a couple cells down to the southwest of Jefferson City. This cell, nothing too much to look at, seeing some lightning every now and then, but just going to be some brief showers for the most part. Then we start to look off to northwest, going to be looking at Saline and Pettis County right now sitting in Johnson County. A little bit more widespread with these showers and storms. Now this is going to be taking hold of central Missouri throughout the next several hours. Become a little bit more widespread, so you're going to need that umbrella as you're heading out the door this afternoon and tonight. Now taking a look at the ABC 17 storm track, future track. Going to be making for a wet bus stop as these storms and shadows become widespread this afternoon. So have that umbrella on hand picking the kids up. But then this warm front staying with us, going to lead more scattered showers, scattered storms as we head off into Friday morning. So a little bit wetter of a commute might want to take your time on those roadways. Could see some pooling of some rain just because the system going to be sticking with us for the next several hours. Now, tomorrow afternoon, going to see a little bit of a dry break as this warm front starts to lift off to the northeast. But then we start to head off into Friday night, early into Saturday morning. We see an incoming cold front off to the west associated with this low pressure system that's been driving all these showers. That's going to be leading to a line of showers and storms. Could see a possible severe risk here with these storms as they pull off to the east. Nothing too much to look at. Thankfully, taking a look at that timing, Saturday at 2 a.m., systems knocking on our door just to the west parts of the viewing area. That's going to lead to a lot of that strength sucking out of the system just because there's not much sun to bring that energy into the atmosphere. Now, as we go through the mid-morning hours, going to continue to see the showers start to dissipate, lose that energy. Thankfully, it's going to be good for our eastern counties. Not going to see as much as a severe risk potential into the early afternoon hours of Friday into Saturday. Now, this cold front starts to continue to track straight through central Missouri, going to lead for a more clear Saturday afternoon, and that's going to be pushing off into Sunday. So we do have some dry time on the way, but we're going to be a threat level two out of five with this system heading off into Saturday morning. And that's going to be pretty much focused off to the west. A lot of that going to be west of Kansas City for the higher severe risk potential. So here in central Missouri, not looking too bad at the moment. Now here in Columbia, could see anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half of total rainfall by Saturday afternoon. Off to the northwest, going to see a little bit more training with these showers and storms. So they're just going over the same path multiple times going to lead to some higher rainfall totals up to two and a half inches possible up in the northwestern counties of mid-Missouri. Now taking a look at that pollen tracker throughout the next several days. Friday going to be low on the threat level. That's going to be good because that rain's pulling in, giving us a little bit of relief. A lot of people have been out there sneezing and coughing lately. This is a little bit of a blessing in disguise. Saturday and Sunday, though, return back to high levels just because that moisture pulls out of central Missouri. Temperatures warm up once again. Then by next Monday, going to be about a medium level, so you're pretty prone to those allergies. I want to have that medication on hand. Taking a look at the seven-day forecast, we are going to be seeing those temperatures remaining with us into the 70s, upper 60s for the next several days. But we see that dry time on Sunday. The next week, starting back off again with chances of showers and storms. Pretty much the trend here in May.